And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 4th of November 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in the markets today. Across the news wires, we saw US equities suffer slight losses overnight. The Dow only just in negative territory, the Nasdaq slightly worse, with market minds still on that more aggressive than expected Fed from the previous night's interest rate decision. Also, of course, got non-farm payrolls today. That may be playing on market minds as well. Perhaps just a little bit of caution. US futures are mildly lower in Asia, and Asian indices are lower in early trade in the ASX, been down around 0.3 of 1%. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly lower open. Bit choppy and little movement in the FX world today so far, but the US dollar index moved higher again yesterday. Gold is retesting support around about 16.20. We saw it pop higher towards the back end of the session, uh, but that's a level to keep an eye on. Oil has pulled back from that 20 EMA. The Brent crude CFD contract trading around about 95 at this stage. And copper futures are trading in a short-term range between 3.40 and 3.50, as they have been for most of the week. The VIX has moved slightly lower despite that equity weakness overnight again, some implied volatility coming off the table with more earnings coming across the wires. Bitcoin has held that 20,000 key level, which it's been testing all week. And it is a quieter earnings day, as is often the case on Friday. We do have another busy week next week, however, which will see us towards the back end of the earnings season. Of course, we've already referenced the non-farm payrolls or the US monthly employment data. That's the headline today. We've got Australian retail sales and the RBA policy statement already out. Later on, we've got Euros on PPI and services PMI data also due. And of course, it is Friday. Expect some repositioning going on after the week that has been. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're going to start with Block Inc. on the ASX. Also, of course, trading in the US and reported earnings overnight. Bit of a mixed bag in terms of what came across the wires, but markets seem to like it. And you can see this key level that we've marked on here around about 96, which it seems to be testing in this morning's trading. It is a very volatile stock, so just be aware of that if you are considering looking at this. Uh, but there you can see that 10% increase this morning. Uh, trading sort of around the mid-range of the trading day. But if we should get some continued buying into this, it wouldn't surprise us to see it up around 110 in the medium term. On the FX front, we are keeping an eye on the GB pound yen. This is a key level on the daily chart around 155.45. And you can see over the last few hours, we've traded within this range of around about 50 pips, bring us up just below 166. We think if we get a breach of 166, we could see it up towards this 166.70 level. So possible 70 pips upside in this. Another one to keep an eye on. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.